Hi everyone, I'm Ali from Little Zen One, and I am going to just go over two carriers we have in the store, the Diddy Tie and the Diddy Click. So the Diddy Tie is a Didymos uh, made eye style carrier. It has two short straps and two long straps. So there are the short straps and there are the long straps. It um, can be used from birth to toddler, to preschool. I just wore my four-year-old in it. Um, to use it with a newborn, you can cinch it like so, and it narrows the panel at the base. Um, you can actually make it a little bit smaller. And then it has these wide wrap straps. So I'll just put it on quickly. So here's uh, one of the differences. Someone has, had asked me, what's the difference between the Diddy Tie and the Diddy Click? So I'll hold up the Diddy Click. And this is a new Diddy Click, not washed. So it's a little bit crispy and also has a tag on it. So the Diddy Click has two short straps and two long straps. And one of the main differences here is that the short straps buckle instead of tying and that the panel adjusts on the waistband with some Velcro. It goes uh, in and out and with a little toggle. Um, the Diddy Click also has this padded bit right here. That's for your baby's legs. And the other difference is the Diddy Click's panel is just a touch uh, bigger. Okay, so to put on, I'll start with the Diddy Click. That's my fake plant. So the Diddy Click, uh, with a small baby, I'm going to buckle up my natural waist. If you don't know where that is, it's the smallest part of your body. I have a rectangular body, so it's <laughs> kind of hard to find, but it's the smallest part of my torso. The smallest this way. So once the carrier is on, um, both of them, sorry, once the waist is on, both carriers work essentially the same way by placing the baby on your body like so with knees higher than their bottom and arms up and then i'm going to come over the leg and under the panel and smooth it up placing each waist each shoulder strap over each shoulder sorry it's been a long day <laughs> okay um this is the hood i'm just going to ignore it going to spread these out over my shoulder. You don't have to do it so perfectly. And then I'm reaching behind my back and grabbing the opposite strap and pulling down and away. And then I do the other side, down and away. And my little baby, um, for this guy, because he's a doll, he's sitting a little bit low. I would want uh, his head fully out of the panel. So, can you see him in there? <laughs> I would want him a bit more like that. That's better. So in order to tie this, uh, you can tie it just under the legs for a small baby, or for a bigger baby, you can go over their back, under the legs, and then tie behind your back. So it's a really easy to use carrier. I like it a lot. I think the benefits of this carrier are like the comfort of a woven wrap and then the ease of just the, the buckle waist and it's really nice you can use the same carrier from newborn up um we have a few styles in stock oh and on my back it should be spread i think of course it's it's twisted because i'm doing a live video so if it is twisted you can easily untwist it like so i'm gonna move my fake plant because it's bothering me Come here, back over here. As you can see, maybe I'm in the back of the store and I just got a big shipment of Didymos. So they're behind me and on the floor. Anyway, I'm going to now show you the Diddy tie. If you have any questions. Oh, I see a comment. Does either have an adjustable panel length? No, so in order to adjust the length of the panel for the Diddy click, you kind of narrow the the base and then in doing so it does bring the panel height down uh it's hard to explain i can demonstrate with the diddy tie um oh so both have a hood this is a uh, sleep hood 
for when they're on your back. Um, you can buckle it up on your front, but just be sure that your baby's face is always visible to you. And now I'll show you the Diddy tie. So how do we get this off? Oh, there's some more questions. Are the shoulders padded on the Diddy click or just pleated? Also, which do you think is easier? Can you show the Diddy pads? Oh, sure, I can show the Diddy pads. I'll be right back. Well, I'm not entirely prepared to make this video. My kids are upstairs in the bath with, with Daniel. Um, and this is sort of impromptu. So I have one Diddy pad, <laughs> which I could show you. Sorry for the noise. So the Diddy pad is uh, an add-on that you can use for the Diddy click or the Diddy tie. I have never tried to put it on while I'm wearing the carrier. So this is fun. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, just gonna have to bear with me because that was far from um, how I would normally put it on. <laughs> I normally would put it on the carrier beforehand. And then there is a little attachment here to, to attach it to the carrier. Sorry, my eyes are, okay, can I show that? Okay, so yeah, so I hope that helped. This is the Diddy pad. Um, for a small baby, I don't think it's necessary to use it in a front carry. It makes it more like a buckle carrier with a padded shoulder. I really like it in the back carry because it's super comfy. Um, so, oh, you can see it's not, not fully padded, but it's just Velcro and they come in cute colors and patterns. You can match your carrier or get a uh, contrasting one. So this is Zephyr and this is Silver. So let me take this off and just continue the comparison. Um, and then I can show, show you the shoulder. It is pleated here just where it joins the body of the panel. So to take it off, I'm going to undo one of the half knots. And then once I've undone one of the half knots, I'm going to support the baby's back and let this come straight down my back. And then once it's straight down, I'm gonna find uh, halfway down the strap or so. I just like to tuck this into the waistband so that when I take the baby down, you see it's not, maybe you don't, but it's not dragging on the, the ground. Okay. I don't know if I, oh, I'm sorry. What do you think is easier to move to a back carry via hip scoop? Oh, either. Um, I can show you a moving to a back carry with the Diddy tie because I didn't see your question Tyler until just now and sorry if my eyes are going crossed I normally have glasses on to read stuff like that so okay so this is the Diddy tie and instead of adjusting on the waistband with the velcro it's a there is no waistband really you see the pan, the straps are sewn into the panel so you tighten it like this and for a small baby i wear it like that with the pouch up for a big baby i wear it like this so this is sometimes referred to as apron style and that's how i wear it with a small baby now i'm going to breathe in and tie it at my natural waist so here's the big difference instead of clicking it at my waist with the soft buckle with a buckle and a soft waist, I just tied. And then the straps, you can do the same thing I just demonstrated, which was to tuck them into the waistband in order to not trip or drag them on the ground. And then I'm gonna take my baby, place him on my body where he's comfortable, which is right here, right baby? And now that he's on my body, just make sure his knees are higher than his bottom. I come over his leg and under the panel. And now here, if you need it to be narrower, you can just manually scrunch it. Do you see? You just scrunch it together like that. It's very high tech. And then you place each strap over each shoulder. And it's the same as the Diddy Click where you reach um, using the back of your hand or the opposite. Push up on the baby's bum while pulling down. So 
One thing I should mention is that the Diddy Click comes in, I think now like 10 different fabric styles, and the Diddy Tie is probably 40 or 50. I, I haven't counted, but there's a lot more um, choices in terms of fabric and color. So personally, I know I have a really soft spot for the Diddy Tie because I just love the, the feeling and all the colors that come in. Okay, so for a small baby, I can just tie it here or like I did with the Diddy Click, I'm coming over under each leg and then it's done. Um, so Tyler wanted me to, or she was asking if I thought it was easier. You know what, I think it's, I think it's tied. Are you still watching Tyler? If you're still watching, give me like a <laughs> thumbs up. So to switch the baby to the back, I am going to take the straps off of my shoulder. She asked about a hip scoop, so I'll just show you. I'm gonna think about this for a second because I'm um, looking at the camera and it's just mixing up my direction. So, oh yeah, I did this a little bit wrong. So just blame it on the live demonstration. Um, that's how you switch it to your back. And I think it's honestly, <laughs> sorry, just made a funny face. I just got too tight on my diaphragm. So when I move the baby to my back, I'm just gonna kind of straighten up, down, cross. It's pretty easy. I've done it in both, and I think it's like really exactly the same. Um, the only thing I would say is that in the the Diddy tie that that catches on my diaphragm that makes me go eh. <laughs> when I pull straight up and that doesn't happen in the Diddy click and that could be because the Diddy click has the soft waist. I do find for a back carry my son my youngest is two that I prefer the Diddy click but I you know scratch that because I just picked up my four-year-old from daycare and if you're on Instagram, you can look at our Instagram story. I'm carrying my four-year-old on my back in this Diddy tie, which is great because he's four. So, oh, oh no. <laughs> uh. So I'm, I'm getting a new doll um, because my newborn doll obviously isn't good for back carries because this is not safe baby wearing. Baby's head should be out like so. Okay, yeah, but it's very easy to switch. This is a really comfy carrier. They're really popular in the store. Also online, but when people come and they wanna try on a carrier and see what will work for them, they find, oh, scoot. Um, that's easy and quick and I can put it on in a parking lot and I have another kid and so on and so forth. This is like the closest thing you can get to a woven wrap without being a woven wrap. And they fold up nice and small, can fit in your bag. Uh, the point of this video was to talk about the differences with the Diddy Click. So like I said, the Diddy Click at the moment doesn't come in as many styles. The biggest difference of course, of course is the buckle waistband. And it's not structured like a soft structure carrier. Hold on. So here's a two left free to grow. And you can see the padded structured waistband. Um, it's soft, but it's still pretty thick. And then this is much narrower and much, much softer. Okay. I don't know if anyone has any more questions. I'll wait around a little bit to answer them so yeah it comes down to kind of what you want a lot of people like the idea of just buckling the waist and and going um just doing one buckle and one tie for them it's more manageable than the two ties when you do have it tied twice you have uh this on your back so <laughs> I hope that helped. Okay, if you have any more questions, let me know. 
the ditty pads. Maybe I can show you ditty pads. So typically you would put the ditty pad on before you put on the carrier. So I'm just gonna put it on over here. It's a lot easier than trying to put it on while you're wearing the carrier. The cool thing about, oh, the Diddy tie is also reversible. And the Diddy click is not. So if you get a Diddy tie with two, two sides, for example, this one is gray on one side and black on the other, you can reverse it. The um, Diddy click is just one, one side. That, that's it. <laughs> Does that help? <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching. If you have more questions after, I will check and answer them. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.